Hi, I am Chris from Sonom International and welcome back to our channel. An approval process is the method an organization uses to approve anything, from documents and invoices to new budgets. Implementing an approval workflow can optimize your organization's internal processes and save time by creating a dependable and repeatable system. In today's video, I would like to show you how you can easily accommodate your approval process in Anaplan. So let's get started. Let's assume we are dealing with a situation where budgets for the next year need to be requested by project managers. So here we have a budget request for project A. In our example, the structure of the approval process depends on the percentage deviation of the next year budget compared to the current year. The current year budget for our project A equals to 100. If the next year budget is lower than the current year, then the deviation is below 0%. It means that no further approval is required and the budget is approved by default. If the next year budget is slightly higher than the current year and therefore the deviation is between 0 and 5%, then the local approval is necessary before the budget is accepted. In the third scenario, if the next year budget is significantly higher than in the previous year and the deviation is higher than 5%, not only local, but also global approval is required before the project is accepted. So now that we are familiar with our approval flow example, let's see how does it work in Anaplan. This is the homepage of our app. On the left hand side we can see that project managers can request budgets for fiscal year 2021. The second card navigates to the page where the budget can be requested. Next, we have the design of the process displayed on the third card. If the percentage deviation is below threshold A, no further approval is needed and the budget is approved by default. If it's in between, only a local approval is needed and if it's above the threshold B, local and global approvals are necessary. The thresholds can be adjusted according to the company's requirements. On the right hand side we can navigate to local and global approval, as well as budgets overview. Let's go to our first page, where budgets can be requested by the project owners. As you can see here, we are currently in 2020 and the budgets for 2021 can be approved. You can see here as well that if the requested budget is higher than the current year budget, local approval is needed. And if this growth is higher than 5%, also global approval needs to accept the budget. In the grid below, we can see the projects in rows and their properties in columns, including current year budget in local currency and euros. Next year budget in local currency, which will be automatically converted to euros based on the loaded effects rate. We also have here deviation percentage and based on that, the number of approvers needed for the project to get accepted. There is also a field for a comment and attachment, for example, Excel file. We can also see here status of the project and information coming back from the approvers, including reason rejecting and adjusted attachment if applicable. Let's use South African projects as an example. For our first project we need 2 million South African rands for the next year. This amount is in the real time converted to euros. We can see that the deviation is higher than 5% and therefore two approvers are necessary. We can also see that the attachment field is now highlighted. That's because if the deviation is quite significant, above 5%, then Anaplan wants us to attach a file with more detailed information about the project. The request budget tick box is highlighted in red, which means that the budget is not ready to be sent. First, we need to open our file where we have our detailed information about products and services. Next, we can copy the link and paste it to our cell. And now we can request the budget. For our second project, we will need 1.7 million. This amount is lower than in the previous year and therefore we don't need an approver. We can request the budget and it will be accepted right away. Our third project requires 1,325,000 South African rands. 
Because it's below 5%, we need only one approver. In case of the projects that require only one local approver, we don't need to attach a file with detailed project description. Just a comment will be enough. Let's leave a comment here that the higher budget is due to inflation. Now that we have our numbers in, we can send the budget request. You can see that the second project is already approved. Another thing is that the input for the field projects has been blocked and we cannot edit these cells anymore. We need to wait for the decision from the approvers. Let's take a look now at the interface from the local approvers perspective. We can see here our two projects that need further approval in rows and their details in columns. We can either accept or reject these projects. Let's assume that as the African Zone representative we are really impressed by the proposal of the first project and we can accept the budget. We don't like however the inflation proposition for project number 3 and we are willing to go only until 1.3 million South African runs. We can easily add the comment and send our decision. If needed, there is also a column for adjusted attachment in case project manager and approvers are exchanging some files. Let's send our decision. In the last grid, we can see overview of all the projects that had to be accepted or rejected by the local approver. We can see here that the first project went through the first approval and still needs to be accepted by the global approver. The next one has been declined and needs to be adjusted by the project manager. Before we go back to the project manager, let's move on to the next step in our approval process. The first project has been approved by the zone representative and needs a final approval by global approver. As a global representative, we can see the project that still needs to be approved by us. The project has indeed quite high deviation from the current year budget. We have our attached file here and we can see that the project has been already accepted by the local authorities. Let's take a look at the more details of the project by opening the file. Again, we have our products and services here. We can see, however, that product 5 is quite pricey. In our opinion, it can be bought for 50,000 South African rands less. So let's leave a comment in the file. We can see that the online document is saved, so we can close it and send our remarks to the project manager. We will write a comment that we have included our remark in the file. If we haven't used the online Excel document, we could of course attach a link to the file with our adjustment. Let's send our feedback. Similar to the local approvers view, in the last grid we can see overview of all the projects that had to be approved by the global representative. Let's navigate back to the project manager's perspective. We can see that our first project has been declined and that we can find the remarks in the file. So let's open our online document. Indeed, we can see here a remark added by the global approver that we need to decrease our budget by 50,000. So let's go back to our page and adjust the budget. Next, we can leave a small note in the file that the budget has been adjusted. Alright, this one is ready to be sent. Our third project has been also rejected, with the remark that the budget cannot be higher than 1.3 million. So let's adjust our number. We can also leave a comment here to let the local approver know that we have implemented the requested change. We can tick the box and send the budget again. We can see that the status for both projects has been updated to pending, which means that we need to wait for the approver's decision. If we move on to the local approver's perspective, we will see the projects again. We will approve the first project and also the second one as the budget has been lowered according to the local approver's feedback. We can also see a comment left by the project manager.
In the overview, we can see that the first one still needs to be approved by the global and that the other project has been already approved. Let's move on to the global. We can see that the budget for our project has been lowered by 50,000, so we will go ahead and approve it. We can see in the last grid that the project has been approved. Last but not least, we can return to the home page and go to the budget overview. Here we have our projects in rows and their budgets for the current year and accepted budgets for the next year, both in local currency as well as euros. In the table on the right, we can view project details like deviation, comment and status. We can switch between projects by simply clicking on them in the table on the left or by using a page selector under the table. And there you have it, your approval process in Anaplan. If you would like to find out more how we can help you set up your process in Anaplan, feel free to contact us using our details in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to be up to date with our new releases and follow us on LinkedIn for more useful content. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you next time.